what is the true purpose of the media do you know the true purpose of the media is to bring fear that's the true purpose because without fear people cannot do anything people are going to be bold and they're going to refuse and they're going to say we cannot do what you're telling us but the purpose of the media is to slowly brainwash you so that you can accept any uh, pathetic ideologies so that they can end up bringing war that's the true purpose of the media so don't you be fooled that uh, everything you see on the media is true nothing is really true what they are doing is that they are giving you what they call the official news do you know what they call official news is never really the official news it's usually a fabricated kind of a story so that you can continue believing in them. And they know very well. They have to mix a little bit of truth and so many lies so that when you look at the whole thing, you think by watching 7 p.m. news and watching 9 p.m. news on a different channel, you think you know. But at the end of the day, you know nothing. What they are doing is that all these media stations are owned by the same guys who want to push the same agenda. And why are they pushing this agenda? It's because they want to fuel you into accepting their ideologies. For example, if uh, a certain nation, if let's say, for example, uh, uh, Kenya wants to go to Haiti and you know start fighting those people there, the soldiers, they have to use the media to make sure that you accept the idea how do they say oh they will show you how things are like and how um uh these and these people the militia they are doing to the people there they don't really show you the backstory of what is happening and why people are revolting in that nation they'll only show you how these gangs are doing and these gangs are doing that these gangs are doing well they will never show you the real picture of why those gangs got into the streets and actually who is funding the gangs They'll only show you the other side. Why? Because they want you to accept the idea. Remember the Bible tells us in the book of uh, uh, Matthew 18 verse 18 that whatever you bind here on earth has been binded in heaven. Whatever you accept here has been accepted in heaven. So they want you to accept whatever idea they are bringing to you. This is a, the same thing with politics. They, they don't need to... Uh, in politics, they just only need to brand someone, whoever they want him to be the president, whoever they want to be a governor or something. They will brand him with some good stories and the, 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 the right guy, the very good guy who could have taken that position, they brand him as evil. They sh start showing his e bad side, creating stories, fabricating. So whenever you see someone being pushed so much in the media as the good guy the humble guy you know <laughs> he just know this is another fabrication because they know why they want that person there and you should wake up and understand the real reason why the media is there is just to propagate you with fear and fear so that finally they can lead you to war remember the book of revelation chapter 6 talks about the same thing it talks about finally the red horseman comes in with war <laughs> you know after a whole deception the white horseman of the apocalypse comes and deceives people deceives people and then final result war and after war what comes the black horse and what is the purpose of the black horse the black horse is to bring famine after war comes famine and after famine, then comes death. At the end of the day, this is why these fellas are here. And that's why you see most of the people who don't listen to media so much. They are focused with their own things. They are out of the matrix. Because the matrix has you. As long as you listen to these people, they have you. And of course, the final thing why the media is so important to them is the propaganda for the Antichrist. They want to give you all his propaganda. All his stories, you know, the Bible talks about him being an homosexual. Yes, in the book of Daniel. So they want to push those, his propagandas, his ideas before time so that when he comes, they can have the right, you know, they, they have it right. Everything is well said. That's why they are pushing all this. That's why you can see 
even from 2020, when people started talking about this thing, which was being given uh, all over. And for sure, you want to tell me all media was blind? All leaders were blind? Nobody could be able to tell that there is something wrong. You want to tell me all those people did not, all of a sudden, all of them, they were blind. I remember looking at the media and everybody pretends, oh, we don't know what's happening. We don't know what's happening. These people are, I don't know how I'm going to, to say. They're all in the same matrix. They're all controlled in the same way. So they should not tell you that they are the official news. That's just propaganda to lie to you, to tell you that this is the truth, while it is never 